10 things that I can't live without. Or there might be more, we'll see. My parents are from the Philippines. So this is how they do the empanadas. We'll see if they will be on camera at all. Let's find out. Actually, fun fact, I almost went to dental school. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me for another vlog. Today, we are doing a vlog in collaboration with one of my favorite people, Michelle Wong. I know you all know who she is, but in case you don't know who she is, she is a beauty content creator on YouTube. She posts, I wanna say five days a week. Luxury beauty is what she focuses on, so to post that many times a week on YouTube on any content is a feat in and of itself, but with luxury beauty, that is a whole other thing on top of it. So I really admire her work ethic, her focus. She is just one of the people that I continue to enjoy watching and I also enjoy watching all of her growth and all of her success well earned. Not only do Michelle and I share the love of luxury beauty, we also love to watch vlogs. We watch the same ones and these vlogs are from creators typically in the UK. So I don't know if it's something they do more there, but we were trying to think of people in the US who do that kind of vlog and we had a hard time thinking about it. So if you know any, let us know. So these are creators who focus on beauty, but every once in a while they'll have a vlog format where it's more casual. You kind of get a behind the scenes look at their lives. And in some cases, I enjoy watching their vlogs more than their sit down videos. Um, I try to focus mine still on beauty, even though it's not a sit down formal video. So in addition to watching them, I enjoy making them. I think it's because I've made videos like this since as long as I can remember when we were little kids and you had the big old VHS tapes. My brother and sister and I, we'd make these videos, like home videos, and then edit them and make them into movies. So for as long as I can remember, I've been making some kind of video storytelling format. Um, and I'm the one who archives everything for our family, like photos, videos, things like that. So this is kind of just a natural extension of what I've been doing for a long time. This time though, focusing on beauty and having an audience much larger than my family this time. So you, I consider my family. So this is just an extra large family that we have here. And I think that's why I enjoyed this so much. So thank you for tuning into these. I know they're a little bit different. Yes, so we are quite to private people. So I can count on my hand, this one hand, how many people have been inside our home that are not our immediate family. So. We are quite private, but I thought there are some things that I would like to share with you. So you'll kind of see parts of my day, parts of the house you don't normally see in the background. Back to Michelle, we both love vlogs. I thought it'd be kind of fun to collaborate on one, but I didn't know how. I don't know if I've ever seen a collaboration on a vlog. So I said, hey, since we both love vlogs and we like making them, do you want to collaborate? But so she was gracious enough to say yes, and then I didn't have any ideas about how to collaborate though, but she had an idea. So she had recently watched someone talk about 10 things they can't live without. I thought that was such a good idea because there are things in this house that I rely on every day that were worth the money. But these are everyday things that I would recommend to you. Some are more expensive than others and some are very accessible and they make life so much easier. And they're things that I'm so happy I have and I've had them for a long time, most of them for a long time. And at first I thought, I don't have 10 things that I can't live without. I mean, of course, I can't live without food, water, shelter, and my family and health, and then clothing. But outside of that, you don't really need much of anything, really. But these are items that, as I thought about them, yeah, they improve the quality of life, they make me happy, they make me calm, and in some cases they help keep me healthy. So we're gonna talk about those things. I did film a little bit of this a couple days ago. The intro though, the quality wasn't good, so I'm filming the intro now. So we're going to go back in time by a couple days. You'll see I'm wearing the same thing. So if you watch the Dior video, the one that's the brand spotlight, you'll notice I am wearing this, but two days ago I filmed it <laughs> and the color was way off. I couldn't fix it. And you'll notice the eyeshadow is different. I like this one better than the one that I did a couple days ago. So that's different. Oh, and I forgot to put my ring on today. I don't know what happened. That's, I have almost every piece of jewelry on, but that. We're gonna go back a couple days, talk about some of the items, then we're gonna catch up to this point in time and then I'll continue sharing those 10 things that I can't live without. Or there might be more, we'll see. The first item is on this table. It is not this beautiful bottle. I don't know if you noticed, I actually now have this in the background. 
And if you didn't see this close up here, it is, it's stunning with all the Swarovski crystals. And it is this, this actually had a metallic bow on it. And if you look closely, there's still glue on there because I need to replace it with something else. I did not like the bow, but inside houses things that I know almost everyone has. And quickly before I open it, if you can guess what's in there before I open it, go ahead and write in the comments. I'll give you a moment or pause it and then write it in there. Okay, inside are our remote controls. I do not enjoy remote controls all over the place and this contains everything. And I have a little bit of, I told you I keep that Chantecai handy. I have it in there, just lip balm and a pen. Those are things that I need frequently. So that is all housed in there. It's just a jewelry box. It wasn't expensive, but it was worth every penny and it just keeps things organized and something that we use every day. So that's why I picked this as one of my things I can't live without. Next up, by the way, my makeup looks darker. I know I did a whole, you'll see it, a video with, um, on not with, but focusing on Dior and I used the foundation I picked up. I don't know when that was because I am much lighter now, so that's not the right shade, but I like the formula. It's very nice. This item is something we've had for, I want to say seven or eight years use it every day. And I cannot think of another item that's comparable to this that can do the job it does. It's the Vitamix. And it's a very simple one. It's just got this um, variable high and then it goes from one to 10 and off and on. So it's not very tidy because we do use it every day, but it's the simplest one I think they have, but I like it that way because there's less to break when you have less features on it. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. It is. Soy milk, banana, Greek yogurt, coconut water, and some ice, and a few dates. We'll throw that in. I'm gonna show you how I make it into like a little float. What I love about this thing is that it liquefies anything. So I put frozen items in, like frozen kale, and it just liquefies it. And another thing I love about this is that you don't have to mess with the blade to clean it. You just add water, and I put a little soap in there, and you just run it like you would run the blender and it cleans it. So you're not having to do anything dangerous like getting your hands near the blade because that is the biggest, I think, hassle when it comes to blenders is cleaning them. So this one is very easy to clean. I put in the banana and the yogurt and the yogurt has like 5% fat. So I like to have a little fat with protein. Then we're gonna put in the soy milk, coconut water, and then these are dates. If you don't know what they are, that's what they look like. And I just had to take the seed out. Yeah, they have like a maple-y taste if you've never tried them. They're very nice, but they're very sweet also. So here goes the soy milk, coconut water. Let's put the dates in. And I'm gonna bring one out to my husband here. And another thing you can do is add something like a sparkling water. This is just like a flavored sparkling water. It kind of makes it like a melted float. I want to make some hand pies for later today, tonight for our dessert. So I'm going to put some mixed berries in a pot. So I'll show you how I do it, but I'm going to see that little um, bat. That's my next, can't live without. I'll show you how that works in a minute, but let's go ahead and get the fruit ready. I'll be using frozen berries because that's what we have. I'm gonna put them in this pot and then I need to um, get some lemon juice to add to that. So we've got all the fruit in there. You can see how much liquid there is. We're gonna have to cook all of that off of the um, berries, but I do wanna add a little bit of lemon juice. This is where this contraption comes in. So this is a juicer that my husband had to have. Um, so I thought he was gonna get like a little juicer, but he saw this and had to have it. So we're gonna, we're gonna use it, but I'm glad he did get it because it's really handy. So it has little suction feet on it, so it's not sliding all around. You're gonna take a lemon here and you just, you know, place it on there. And it's really simple to use. And then I don't add sugar or anything like that. We're just gonna cook them down. Here is another essential SPF. So whether it's some kind of SPF you put on your face or 
in this case UPF, so any kind of sun protection is essential. I don't go out ever without any sort of sun protection and if I'm outside outside for a while I'll put on a hat like this one and they range like I have an Eric Javits hat I'll go get that but this one I just got off, off of Amazon so there are lots of different options lots of different price points but I'm going to show you a fun other new <laughs> can't live without because I've wanted something like this for a long time I grew up in a um, house where we had a pool. I always wanted something where I could just lay down and not get wet by the water and just kind of sit on top of the water. But I never found anything like that. I always kind of sagged in the middle. I'll actually get on this float that I picked up. So thanks to the Rose Table, she posted on Instagram and immediately I went and bought one online. Here it is. Okay, so it's a little bit big, but it has a canopy on the top. And for SPF, here are a few of my favorites. We've got Even Up SPF 50. We've got the Face Shield by Color Science. These are mostly Color Science. That Color Balm is great for the cheeks SPF 50 as well. SPF 35 for the eye area, the three in one. And then this is a new favorite, the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Great texture on that, very much like a primer. SPF 40 and really good for oily skin types. Can you believe that all of that fruit in that bag cooked down to that. That's all that was left. So I'm just going to make one hand pie. My parents are from the Philippines. So this is how they do the empanadas. They fold like this and you take another bit and another bit and you just keep going around. There we go, 400 degrees and however long it takes. It says 25 minutes, but it usually takes longer, so I'm gonna put that in. Oh, we left off on the hand pie. Oh my gosh, that pie was so tart. So the last time I made it with berries, it was too sweet, which is why I added the lemon juice. But this time it was so sour, so Maybe taste the filling before you decide what to do. I probably should have added some sugar to this one. My husband thought it was fine, but I thought it was too, like, way too tart. On to another thing that I can't live without. So there are lots of things in this kitchen, but they are just solutions to things we use every day. I, this doesn't look very exciting, but this paper towel holder, I think it's Simple Human. It has a little bit of tension on it, so you can take off one piece without the whole thing coming out. So. I know that we are evolved. If you have paper towel, we're all being very, very conservative with our paper towel. So in order to not waste it, it just, don't worry, I'm not throwing these away. I'm saving them. But you can just pull it and pull it off like that and you don't have all that extra paper towel rolling off. So there's a little bit, I think because there's a little bit of tension right here that it holds the paper towel in place but enough to let it, you know, spin, but it doesn't, let it spin all the way so because of this and then it's really easy to change you just take this off right here and then you can change out the roll i'm gonna count this one it's the same because i don't even know what number i'm on four maybe right i can't remember okay i think this is four i'm gonna count this as the same because this is also a paper towel dispenser this one though is if you can't find paper towel rolls which is what i was starting to think because so every time i try to order groceries, I put a paper towel in there and I never get it. So we're on our very last of the paper towels, but I found this dispenser and it seems like there were quantities of it available. So I'm gonna show you what this is, but it's really nice in case you really want paper towels and can't find any there. I have another solution for you. Okay, this is a Torque paper towel dispenser. So it's empty right now and you can see it shows red I'll focus here there's a little indicator it's red also there's no paper towels in here so i'm going to show you how to change this how easy it is to change it out if you've never seen it before so you take these two buttons and push it so it's spring loaded and it opens up like this let me tilt the camera there we go so it looks like that then you take like this pre-packed thing of paper towels and you stick them in here 
like so and then you push it okay you push it down lock it into place and then ta-da paper towels one paper towel at a time this is one of those things i wish i had had when i started cooking for myself because it's one of those items that you'll keep forever and instead of buying like cheap little pots and pans you just buy the good the good pan and then it'll last you forever those are the kinds of things i like so i don't really have many pots and pans but the ones i do have i use almost every day so this is it it is my i think it's a 10 inch i don't know what size it is i'll have to look but it's a la Creuset pan and it's white but see it's stain on the bottom i think there's probably a way to clean actually i think i've seen the cleaner for it but i haven't done that yet but it is a really nice pan. it's heavy but it does such a good job cooking everything i mean every day i'm using this to cook something in it it makes really good bacon if you're a bacon fan i don't know what happens in here but the bacon turns out really great every single time actually i'm gonna make something right now The next item is this lap desk for my laptop. It's got a ridge on the top you can see for my phone and extra SD cards. Plus I use this external drive to help edit so it holds that in the same place so it's not flopping all around and disconnects because that's never fun. And then we have the SD card reader. So there's a lot of things attached to my laptop. And plus this pillow puts it at the right ergonomic angle, at least for me, when I'm using the laptop. And it has this ridge so the computer is not sliding all around so you don't have to be perfectly stable. Some of you may remember the shawl that I opened up, one of the lovely gifts that I got for my birthday for my parents, but I don't have anywhere to go, so I just wear it like this on the couch because I don't have anywhere to wear it, so I wear it at home. <laughs> but it's really cozy. I mean, it's very lightweight and warm, but it still breathes. So that's what I like about this. It's really, it's really nice. As I was working on this, my, and those of you who have your own channels, you know what this is like, but the white balance on <laughs> film is so difficult. I was going to film a little bit more of this vlog yesterday, but I was up until 2 a.m the night before and I was up trying to color balance the video. I almost didn't, it was a Guerlain video. I almost didn't post it. I mean, it was midnight and I thought, let me just not post this because I can't, the color was so off. So if you've ever, again, if you've ever tried to white balance, you look at it and you think it looks fine and you're all ready to go. And then you kind of go out in the world and look at things and you come back and it looks really off. Like it, it looked like there was a green film on there and then it looked like there was a yellow film. Like I could not get it right. I actually went to YouTube. I looked at Michelle's video. I looked at Abby Bliss White. I looked at the people's videos that I watched and I tried to at least get it in that range so it didn't look so off. It was so, I can't tell you how off it was. Anyway, I felt exhausted the next day. I just, I looked, I looked exhausted. I felt exhausted. But as I was sitting here, I thought of the fifth thing that is something I can't live without. And you've seen this before, but I haven't put it in this format. There are my Birkenstocks that I wear inside. Let me just show you what they look like. These are my fuzzy Birkenstocks. I love them for inside. I still wear my Vionics, but these are the main shoe I wear. But I just got these in December and that's how much I've been home. They're wearing away a little bit, uh, the shearling on the insides, but they're still very cozy and my back would hurt a lot and my legs would hurt a lot if I didn't have these. So that's why I included them in a cannot live without. So one thing I've been doing since we've locked down is I've called my parents every day just to see how they're doing. And it's the two of them. I just like to check in with them and see how they're doing. We'll see if they will be on camera at all. Let's find out. Hi, how's it going? Anything happening? No, just here. I'm filming a vlog. Wanna say hi? Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
Yeah. Hi, Mom. Yeah. Here, Mom, say hi. Here, Mom, say hi. Where'd she go? Say hi to everybody. Say hi to the camera. Did you make that mask? No. I bought some online. I bought them. You want me to order? You want me to order you some? Oh wow! You make that? Yeah. Here, wait. Show everyone. Show everyone what you made. Huh? Show everyone what you made. Yes. <laughs> My mom made her own mask. Did you hands? Did you make that with like by hand? Did you sew it by hand? Oh yeah, because I don't have any sewing. I mean, I don't use my sewing machine. Just by hand. Wow, that's nice. Wow, good job, Mom. Enjoy your dinner. Okay, I will. Bye. Love you. I love you too. Okay, Take talk, care. To, talk to you Bye. later. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> So they're funny. This might be an obvious one. The phone is something I can't live without, not because I actually don't really like technology. I don't know if that's surprising or not or how you feel, but I do like the ability to be able to see someone's face when you talk to them. Does that really count as something I can't live without? Because I would be really sad if I couldn't communicate with them that way. Um, I don't love all the things that come along with technology, though there are a lot of downsides to it, but that is one really, really great thing about it. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't talk to my family that way. Um, simply because we don't live close to each other. Okay, maybe that'll be an extra one. <laughs> I just thought of it as I was talking to them, like what would I do if I couldn't talk to them or see their faces? Yeah, that would be hard. I think I have a few more for tomorrow, so we'll check with you. I'm gonna finish editing my video because I've got lots of videos coming. Um, yeah, there was those new releases. I've got Shantikai coming in. I just ordered the Charlotte Tilbury off of Michelle's link. I mean, it's supposed to come in two days, so we'll see if that happens. So those videos will probably come first, so I don't know where this will fall in everything, but I do have a lot of content I need to be creating. I've got to finish editing this, and then I've got to edit this, and then I have two more I know coming up at least, and then it's haul and favorites time for the end of the month, so I'll be making videos the next, yeah. I'll be making a lot of videos soon. <laughs> Day number three, okay, I just finished the um, hummingbird, no, not the hummingbird. I <laughs> I just finished filming the Chantikai summer collection video and I did it twice because if you see it, my microphone um, battery popped out <laughs> at the beginning and there was audio missing, so that is always fun. I need to get a cover. I don't know what happened to the cover, it fell off and I don't know where it is, but I think I just have three more things to show you. So one of the things is this brush. So I have this Mason Pearson brush on it. This is like my third one. The first one I bought was in Harrods or maybe I bought two in Harrods. So I had one just for hair and then one that was like a mixed. This one is for detangling though. So I like that because that's really when I'm brushing my hair is when I get out of the shower and I just detangle it and then I put conditioner in. So I don't really brush my hair that often um, and my hair falls out a lot. So as little as I can do to it, the better it is. And so these bristles do a good job of detangling without tearing your hair out. I and mean, it also comes with a brush cleaner. So that's nice because, you know, if you're like me and there's hair everywhere, then you're gonna end up with a lot of hair in your brush. So I like that it has a cleaner that goes with the brush. The next thing, and I, again, brought it out from the bathroom and I cleaned it for you because I didn't think you need to see it not clean, but it's a toothbrush. It's the Sonicare toothbrush, which I've been using for years. Um, and it really does cut down on the dental visit when they go to clean your teeth. It's definitely less work for them and I can, Feel that my teeth are cleaner too so I get a lot of compliments on my teeth and I think it has to do with that that um, Sonicare so I do rely on that every day and I'm someone who likes to floss their teeth actually fun fact I almost went to dental school <laughs> until I visited my dentist and realized it was more of a business I mean it was half of it was business and half of it was the actual dental practice so the business side did not interest me Anyway, so I do enjoy dental hygiene, and so I really like that. Um, I really like that brush. And then back in the kitchen, so usually that means I'm going to be cooking or unboxing. So this is kind of like an unexpected unboxing. I got a lot of things. 
a couple things that I ordered and then some PR. So I know that the next Holland Favorites is going to be quite long. So I thought maybe we could slow down a little bit and talk about them here. I'll probably go really quickly in the Holland Favorites though once we get there. I do have these boxes right here. Box right here. Ooh, this is Sizzly. I can tell because it says Sizzly on the inside. I ordered this and it's when they had their 20% off. And I've mentioned how difficult it is to buy shades online. So I really, I have no idea what this shade looks like. So I ordered the Fito Tint, the oil-free foundation that I think it was Angela Van Rose who loves this. So I told you I was going to continue trying that Hourglass spray. So either the previous like five days or so my skin's been dry or it's the new SPF I'm using, the Super Goop one the like unseen sunscreen. It's been mattifying so nicely that it's changing the way my makeup is behaving because it doesn't have that oil to interact with my makeup. So it's actually been on the dry side. So I sprayed it on today. Okay, wait, I still look shiny, but it doesn't feel like glossy like it did. So I am continuing to try it. If you have oily skin, like oilier skin, that's when I think you're gonna run into what I was running into with extra glossy finish. <laughs> so the only person who was kind of close who was it? Beauty Lookbook, maybe? Like, I go to her because her coloring looks similar to mine. Oh, I think we actually might be okay. It might be a little bit dark, though. I want to do a whole full face of Sizzly. I also picked up one of the lipsticks, Velvet Case, which is pretty for, like, when you open it, but I don't ever <laughs> use anything like that after. And I picked it up in this shade. How pretty is that? Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, I'm just gonna say it now, the lipstick I have on is Wayne Goss Zinnia with Cherry Blossom. I think that's a lip gloss, I always forget. So I'm trying to say whenever I have lipstick on what it is. Someone asked me from like, I don't know, three years ago what lipstick I was wearing and I was like, I have no idea. I will try really hard to remember, but I can't even remember what I was saying in the middle of a sentence anymore. So I'm going to try really hard to at least say it or write it down because I cannot recall, but this is so pretty. 41. Again, the colors were really hard to see online. Whenever I see this one, it makes me smile. <laughs> when I see who it's, I had no idea who this one was from. I didn't even get a like, notice that it's on the way kind of thing like I did last time. I just looked at it. I wasn't expecting to pick this up today. So this is from House of Siage. And this is the one, I think I said it on Instagram. I have started searching YouTube to find people who are opening their mystery vaults because their faces are so genuinely excited and happy to be opening these. I will link her video below, it was really cute. Oh, another card, okay, dear Grace, we hope you love the vanilla sun candle. See, summer addition to the original candle, perfect island escape the House of Siage team. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, House of Siage, for sending this to me. I'm so excited to try it. I was actually going to order one, <laughs> so thank you. Mm, if you like vanilla, you're gonna love this. It's a really nice, gentle vanilla smell. Intensely warm, irresistible mood, while exuding creamy vanilla. Oh, that's what it is, it's creamy. That's a good word. And floral notes, even when unlit. It is, it's very fragrant, unlit. The rich aromatic scent evokes heartwarming memories while the fruity notes of sun-kissed wild strawberry and dark cherry creates a delightful sensation of comfort. Soy-based for an eco-friendly clean burn. Lovely, lovely. Thank you so much. This is just a very nice clean scent and it's white. <laughs> so it goes with the rest of this house. We'll open this big one. Um, it is Teddy Blake. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but I got familiar with them because they approached me and asked if I would like something. By the way, when it comes to PR, when a company approaches me, I will research them, I look them up, I decide, is this something I would personally buy? Because if it's not, then I won't participate in any kind of PR with them. It says, designer handbags made in Italy luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. So I'm very picky with my handbags. In fact, I don't have very many on purpose. Plus, I don't like have tons of room to store a lot of things. Oh, that's nice, the box collapses like this. That's pretty cool. It says they have a team of designers pitch from well-known luxury brands and create designs for every style choice. It says they are made with the luxurious leather from Italy's finest Peltiers, dyed and treated to withstand the test of time and maintain a luxurious look. Cute. Working in the same Italian factories as other luxurious brands and following the knowledge gathered from decades of experience in luxury leather. Our laborers will turn a Teddy Blake bag into a work of art. 
and it states they offer luxury handbags with all the key characteristics of luxury accessories but without the price tags but i liked how first of all it has feet so if you're like me and you don't like your bag to touch i don't put my bag on the floor usually but if i have to i want it to have feet on it so that's nice it keeps a bag off of the ground it is a really luxurious high quality leather so i also like how it's structured so it doesn't flop over when it's sitting on its own i don't have anything this size it does have the Teddy Blake New York here, and the hardware is silver on this. Currently, they're having sales of up to 70% off, so that's huge. It's very classic design. I mean, this is very me. It's gray, first of all, and it's simple. There's not too much in terms of being ornate on it, and I do like the texture. In this way, if it does get scratched, it doesn't show, which is why with my Chanel, I got um, the pebbled the caviar leather because I didn't want it to show wear and I think that this probably will do kind of the same thing because it already has some texture on it so if there's a little boo-boo on it you won't see it as easily and I am not very careful with my bags I like to use them there's a pocket here and then there's like a two little pouches you probably could put cell phone in there keys sunglasses and then here there's another pocket with a zip inside and then here, there's a zipper. And I'm always looking for a zipper because my mom is always looking for a zipper in her bag. So there's one in here. Strap that goes with it. And so I really got it for like work at home in terms of putting all of my um, accessories in here. So I do have an external hard drive that goes with my computer. I've got, you know, like power cords, things like that. So it gets kind of messy. So I'll be using this to contain all of my electronic accessories while I'm at home. So that's gonna be really cute and I thought it would be nice and I'll take a picture of where I'm gonna put it. I'm kind of behind the couch near the, the credenza. So thank you so much Teddy Blake for this. This is beautiful. So thank you again Teddy Blake that was sent to me complimentary by them. Yeah, I think this will go really well with the shawl that I just got. Chanel. This I'm excited about because there's a lot of things in here that I ordered that I've been really wanting to try. Because companies don't seem to be coming out with as many things, I'm trying to explore like the base products with some of these companies that they've had for maybe even not too long, but um, not limited edition, those kinds of things. So I can get more familiar with each brand so I can do some more in-depth comparisons for you. So the more I try, the more I'm able to reference other things that you might be familiar with to give you more useful information. So as always, Chanel always has the nicest packaging. <laughs> they really do. And it's I, one of those things I hate to open. So there's a little CC on the, there with a sticker. So many lovely items in here. And you helped me pick this a lot of this out. So know that you had an influence on me in terms of what I was picking up. So thank you so much for helping me. So this is the blush in Jersey. I'm so excited to try this. Um, I had looked at it a long time ago and then those of you who chimed in and had it said you loved it, so I'm really excited to try that. Okay, so this is something I thought I would never be able to try. It's the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint, and I got it medium. And the reason I hadn't gotten this, oh, it looks much more tan than I thought it would. The reason why I hadn't picked this up is because, you know, my skin is so <sighs> has its issues <laughs> with discoloration, and I just thought it's something this lightweight and thin in terms of coverage isn't going to work for me because what's it going to do but now i think i'm at the point and maybe i'm just hopeful where i don't need really as much coverage so because these spots are getting so much better as time goes on so with just a little concealer this is helping so i thought maybe we could try this i really am curious because i love the idea of lightweight almost no foundation foundation because i don't really like foundation although I try a lot of foundations. It's not something I love to apply every day. If there's one item that I would want to skip in my beauty whole thing, it's foundation. <laughs> I'd rather just be able to show my skin, but I can't. But this looks really close to it, and I think that I um, will see what it does on my skin. I'm so curious. Oh yeah, so I'm trying to find out as much about the eyeliners as possible. I have several already. I got this in 944 Noir Enigmatique. This one I was so curious about because it looks green but nothing about the name says that it's green, <laughs> right? Isn't noir black? And then I also got the color Celadon, which you can see what direction we're going in here with the green. I've almost collected all of them and I've been using them a lot, so I'll have a lot of information for you. Then this was because of you. So someone wanted to know about the blurry palettes, specifically the blurry green. And I thought, I don't really have green palettes and we'll see how green looks, but I, I mean, this is not the first thing I would usually pick 
but it's got this khaki color. Actually, when I was doing the shopping online, someone mentioned that khaki would look really good on my skin tone. I thought, yeah, you're right. Like khaki is something I should probably be wearing more or like at least have. I don't really have anything khaki. Thank you for the suggestion because I would not have really looked at this closely. Then I remember I've had, I've had questions about lip gloss and I picked mine up in True. Look how pretty. And that is it. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna clean up. I have two more things I think. This is the most jumbled vlog I've worked on so hopefully it'll all come together. There's another thing I forgot about. It's the Roomba. If you don't have a Roomba, I love it and I feel like it cuts down so much on cleaning because we have polished concrete floors, but there's so much dust anyway. And so I like to have the Roomba go first, pick up the dust and then mop, or else if I mop, then I'm just like pushing the dust around. So I like to go in with the Roomba first, and then I like to go in with the mop. Oh, I did tell you I was going to show you where I was going to place the bag. So this is behind the couch that I usually film at. So this is like the backside that you don't see. And there's this little credenza thing. So I thought it could just sit nicely here and fill that corner in. And I could keep all of my electronic accessories in there. It's very harmonious with this color scheme. So we will go outside for the last one finally. So we can take a look at that. But before I forget, I just wanted to say thanks to Michelle again for collabing with me. And I just want to let you know, she really is just the nicest person. She's become quite um, a mentor for me in terms of YouTube and especially things that go wrong. <laughs> um, so she's the one really who saved me from refilming that Charlotte Tilbury video because of the missing item. So she actually found a way to spin that. She's like, no, no, don't refilm it. Just do this. So I really thank you for that. She talks me off the ledge when it comes to color correcting, reminding me that um, YouTube is homemade and that's what's charming about it. And that's so right. I forget that I um, am the poster child for, what is it? Paralysis by analysis. That's me. If I had no deadlines, I would get nothing done. I want to fix things, fix things, fix things until they're at the point where I'm satisfied with them. And really there's always something in my mind to fix. So that's why I have such a hard time with YouTube because I am not okay with just like, it's good enough. After learning about YouTube, I decided if I ever owned a company and on your resume, you wrote that you maintain a YouTube channel and that you post regularly, whatever the content is, as long as it's positive, I'd be more apt to hire you because I feel like the dedication, the attention to detail, the focus, the perseverance, the grit, everything that goes along with YouTube, getting feedback that might not be nice, the nicest feedback and how to deal with that. I think those are really great qualities for anyone who's a hard worker. So yeah, you have to be a really hard worker to do this whether your channel has a lot of subscribers or a few subscribers or a lot of views or a few views, if you continue down the marathon of YouTube and are always looking to make it better, I think that's what people on YouTube do. They always wanna make the next video even better and learn from their mistakes. So I think those are really great qualities. So yeah, if you do this and you do this regularly, then my hat's off to you. I know how much work it is. But thank you again, Michelle, because it really is, it's like my husband, I ask him, does the color look okay? I send snapshots to my sister, does this look okay? In fact, she actually, my sister, I was not sure about an outfit I had on, and I sent it to her and she's like, no, refilm. So I'm really grateful to people who will be honest with me and tell me the truth. And Michelle is one of those people, so I really appreciate it. I really appreciate her collaborating with me on this because I'm so excited to see her video. But we're, this is not the end though. We are still gonna go outside so I can just say goodbye to you and show you my mosquito net. Okay, finally, here's the last can't live without. I'm in my mosquito net. And yeah, it saves me from getting bitten by mosquitoes because like I said, they love me. They find me right away. I don't need to be outside for very long but they will find me quickly. So this is kind of the only way because I don't like bug spray. Um, so this is kind of the only way I can stay away from the mosquitoes. And, oh, this is the Eric Javits hat that I talked about earlier, UPF 50. Um, it has really nice structure to it. And 
I think that's it. I don't know how long this is. I hope it's not too long. But I think Michelle said hers was 50 minutes. So unless she's edited it. <laughs> Did this the other day. Edited it. Edited. Edited. Unless she edited it. <laughs> down. I don't know if hers is 50 minutes. But I'm afraid of how long mine is now too. Um, but I think I'm going to get on the little inflatable golf cart there. And get in the pool finally. After a week of vlogging it was kind of fun. So It'll be interesting for me to watch this back, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. Yeah, a lot of just random things happen in vlogs, and like I said, I enjoy watching them, so I hope you enjoy watching them too. So if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks!